Now there's some additional information we can use to footprint the network. We already have looked up IP addresses, and we've looked up contact information about the people who run the network. We can also locate ranges of addresses, so that helps us map the target network. Uh, the who is will help us find whole ranges of addresses, assuming that they even have ranges of addresses. Not everybody does. So we can use Aaron, um, which is the, uh, the America's registry. Um, we can also use the regional internet registry, the RUR, if they are not in North America. We can use trace route. We can just say trace route or trace cert um, to a target. And uh, you know what trace route or trace cert does? Uh, basically, they, it manipulates the time to live of a packet so that um, every router along the way from you to a destination will identify itself. And uh, basically, um, we basically incrementally have the uh, time to live expire. So we set the time to live field, and you should know this from Network Plus. Set the time to live field to uh, expiration of one. So when it gets to the first router, it expires it, says expired in transit, Here I and here's who I am. Then we set it to two, so the second router does the same thing, three, the third router, all the way to the final target. That tells us what um, ISPs and what pathways we have to go through and who is actually hosting that final web server or whatever it is. Because um, the ISPs get blocks of IP addresses. So we can easily look up a particular address. So like 65 dot something, something, something. I know that that's one ISP. 24 dot something, something, something. I know it's another ISP. So we can um, look at the logical path that a packet takes to get to a target. And this will help us figure out things like network topology and uh, routes and routers and firewall locations. And it helps us build the network map. The way we get firewall information is if the packet is allowed to go past the firewall, most firewalls are configured to not use ICMP, which means you'll see response, 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 star, response, response. And that star right there is probably a firewall. I mean, it could be a router that's too congested to respond, but could well be a firewall instead. There are online trace route tools, um, though I have to warn you about these. I mean, here are just a few of them. Uh, Visual Trace is kind of fun to go to. And if we look, it says all the routers that we went through. If we zoom in, you can see it here. So we did a trace route, hop number one, hop is a slang term for router, was this IP uh, run by, and this is the full, fully qualified domain name of the router. Hop number two was this, this IP run by these folks. Hop number three, et cetera. And they'll even show you physically how your packet is moving. However, however, let's stop right here. The problem with this, with telling you physically where stuff is, where physically where routers are, is that all they're doing is they are looking up the router name right here. Like the router name was outbound.hexillion.com. And all they're doing is a, is a reverse who is by, or a who is by that name. That could point to the corporate office, which is way on another part of the, uh, another country, other side of a country, whatever, other side of the continent. So you might see traffic taking these outlandish routes. And that's not really how the traffic's going. What that is is that's a pathway of ownership of the routers. So I wouldn't put too much stake in a visual trace. The only people who really know where the stuff physically is are the mirroring sites like Akamai that actually put mirroring servers around uh, the world. And they, they know physically where these things are. But nonetheless, it's kind of fun to look at, even if it might not be accurate in the least bit. But certainly, certainly the IP address information is quite accurate. You cannot have an IP subnet be all over a country. You can't do that. There are tons of traceroute tools, including built-in traceroute tools in every single operating system. But there are others here if you are interested. So that's some additional footprinting we can get on the network.